Yes, AI will be a whole lot of, if not all. There's no place for you to go and work and get 30k. Then you find yourself living in a loop. To summarize it, I'm okay. a system where we can hand over car keys without handing over car keys. I'm getting on about I still can't read a vibe. My world... Every child there, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with a very important person. If you are coming to Elizabeth University, you need to watch this podcast from the beginning to the end. You know what I'm saying? He is the president and a 500 level, final year level student, especially electrical and electronics engineering student. You need to hear this. Pleasure to meeting you here. Tell us more about you. I'm not, I'm not a very, very different person. I'm like every other person. My name is Edimek Obasi Yaponika. Okay. Hail from a problem state. Okay. We call it Bennett to be precise. A lot of people think that I'm a very old oh. person, but I'm not. <laughs> no, no, no. Not old. I'm just 55 years old. You know, you're having I'm having your structure. So, uh, <laughs> you know, the job. <laughs> Armstrong, what motivated you to, to choose electrical electronics engineering? First of all, mm. when I was a kid, yeah. Okay. And then I would watch TV. Then, then we used to have this, uh, this box television. Yeah. The house. Then when my parents would go out and mm. put on the TV, it used to be in the cage. Okay. And they would lock the cage. Okay. And drop the key somewhere. So you cannot. So stand yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so we go and pick the key myself and my brother. Okay. And then open the TV because we wanted to watch it. Yeah. And then I was very fascinated how there were people talking inside the television. Wow. But then the idea was that you get ties and people inside here. And they were not around. They, you get me? Yeah. yeah. And the people inside here that you know, they all watch them and joy. Yeah. This cat and this rat, they inside, inside this TV. So one day when my parents went out, I brought out like, the TV. What is your TV? Mm -hmm. if... And I opened the TV because I wanted to see if there is anyone. They are inside TV. <laughs> and then eventually I ended up spoiling the television. And then when my parents, obviously. What would you expect? It would beat you. Yeah, beat you. Uh, you don't Normal it. African parents. So after that, I started having interest in how. Okay. How are they not there, but I can see them? How are they able to stay thousands of miles away mm. and read you? And then I'll stay in my house and, and see them. How am I able to pick up my phone and make a call? And then I'm hearing your voice wherever you are. And then all these things were very intriguing to me. This is what built that love for wanting to understand the concept the concept the technology what's like what why 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 is it happening oh okay. i wanted to answer that question of why, why? guys this is a, a very important notice for you guys you have to know your passion know what you love most you know i'm stronger indeed he knows okay this is what this is he has figured out okay this is what he likes and you want to check out what is it like what do you want to be what what who, who do you see in the future or what do you see that okay i'm interested in this and i need this and i want this to be this you know what i'm saying what area of specialization in electrical electronics engineering do you like most and why do you choose it currently yeah one thing we have to understand is that choices change based on perception High things risk. that are occurring okay a few years back, we were not talking about artificial intelligence, so you will not expect the person who is studying electrical engineering to say he's, he's vested in artificial intelligence. That's, that's a new, not so new, but it's a new concept we are playing around now. Yes. So, for now, my interest encircles in artificial intelligence and control of the what am I trying to say? How can we jumble up electronics together, tell it what to do, and make sure that they do what we want it to do? And then the intelligence there comes in where you are those 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 electronics are able to make decisions on, by themselves mm -hmm. without your presence, without my presence. Okay. You know, if 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 there's if rain is going to fall, yeah. Then obviously we should close the strong roof. Yeah. I have to make that decision if I'm home. But if I'm not around, then mm -hmm. I want my system to understand that rain is going to fall. This is the weather and how this is the weather condition. So okay. close the strong roof. Social intelligence and control and so is, is it is it more of like a dark sensor? You know the street light when mm -hmm. it's getting dark, just automatically switch off. Switch mm. on. We have lots of sensors. Okay. Now, having to understand and take weather conditions would involve real-time weather data. Yes. So I would expect that the system that is getting real-time data, weather yeah. data, should be connected to 
a real-time data source rather than working with the humidity of the environment. And all that. So I should be uploading the real data. So I'm connecting my to a server that you understand yeah. to get that real-time data to feed my system to make decisions. So that's that's the artificial intelligence. Okay. So it's just related to as you say everything just related to basically. Wow. Creating that intelligence for your system rather than you being the intelligent being. Okay. Do you think of any disadvantage of AI? I've watched a lot of videos, comments from, from my mentor. I have, I have a mentor. Okay. That's a little more. Okay. He inspires me. Okay, okay please, before we go I, to the question, eh? mm -hmm. you know, before you become a man, you need to have a mentor who you will resonate with. And you have to have a mentee. Do you have all these personalities or I kind do. of. I, do. I have a mentor. Okay. And I believe I resonate very greatly with him because I like the way his brain works. Wow. You know, the ability to be able to see what everybody sees yeah. and see above what they see is true mastery. You have vision, extraordinary vision. That, that vision, that eyesight is crazy. He has a crazy eyesight. To be able to look at what we're all seeing and see what we're not seeing is what I really admire about them. For many years, people have been trying to uh, build system rocket systems and all of that but the man just came and did it in as much as he had many failures i will not call them failures he learned many ways not to do it okay before finally discovering how to do it do what okay. fly rockets to space and land, land. He's on, its own. on its own wow. so he's the only person who has been able to achieve that and then being able to achieve that shows you that this is a person who has mastered who has had true mastery of the concept he's playing around with and then this is a man who has not just... Um, this is a man who has succeeded in many areas. In tech. In tech. He started with his uh, fintech company yeah. and all of that. He has Tesla. So yeah. he's a man who is succeeding in many areas. So if you look at why is he being able to just jump into any yeah. area yeah. and then succeed in that area, that shows you that yeah. this person yeah. has crazy eyesight. Yeah. So yeah. show me what to see and I'll see you what you're seeing. Wow. That's a lot more. Wow. That's why I admire him and Learn from as a mentor. Then for the disadvantage of yeah, before I come to your disadvantage, you said a mentee. Yeah. You have a personal mentor. Yeah. Personally, yeah. I don't consider myself well vested enough yes. to be able to mentor somebody. But you can mentor me now. Because <laughs> because I don't know what because, <laughs> no, 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 because personally I am still learning. There are a lot of things I want to know and I have not known up to one percent of what I want. So what do I know to teach you? That is why I don't think I am ready to mentor, to mentor someone. someone. But you know that if you if you mentor someone based on what you have learned, you continue to pile up those ones that you so that you won't forget. I don't know how um, um, you know. You know, it is, it is learning, learning something is one thing. Understanding that thing is another thing. And being able to play around the concept you have understood is another thing. Yes, I have learned a couple of things. I feel I understand them. But what will justify my understanding of these things is when I play around these concepts. And we're still in school. Yeah, most, of this, yeah, most of these concepts, I cannot Actually, deal with them yet. Okay. So when I leave school, I really hope we will dive into a lot of these things you and will, play you around will. with them. Definitely. Yeah. God giving me life and protecting me, I will. And so, I would want to learn, dive into most of these things. And when I do, and then satisfy myself well enough. So before you begin to mentor someone, so I, I like I like the concept. He said that before he mentor someone, he need to like achieve some certain goals. You know, he set some goals ahead of him. So you need to uh, uh, accomplish those goals before he mentors someone. So what are the disadvantages of AI in, in our modern society? Or how do you think that AI will improve our society better? You know, like um, like Elon Musk said, yeah, it's not about the technology in play. It is more about how the technology in play is being used. Yeah. Yes? I mean, almost all of us have phones. But there are some certain people who use certain persons use their phones to positive use their phones positively, yeah. and others negative. Yeah. So artificial intelligence will do us great good. We will use it for great good. Yeah. We will do us great harm. We will use it for great harm. And understanding that humanity will always be in conflict with itself. It's, uh, it's something that is very painful because, okay, take for instance the guns or the atomic bomb that was created. 
when, when it was created, the idea for creating the bomb was to instill fear. Okay. So that, okay, fine, we have this thing, so don't do this, so we will not use it. Okay. But then, after that was available, it was being used. Because it being used for good or bad depends on decisions of certain people. Okay. So then I would expect that if the people in power are not those who care much for humanity, then AI will not be what wow. Because what we are doing is we are building a system that is more intelligent than ourselves. Yeah, ourselves. And we have different, we have human beings who are more intelligent than others, and we can see what they are doing. So they just combine those knowledge together. Exactly. Wow. So what we are doing is, you know, before when we search the internet, we have information scattered around. So artificial intelligence is basically gathering all this knowledge and feeding it into one system. So now, instead of having diverse knowledge being scattered around, we have one system that knows everything that we don't know. Wow. Mind you, this information that was scattered around, you learned something, you brought it up, you placed it okay. If you want to talk about waves, this is how we should talk about waves. Okay. I learned In something. One you get me? I learned something, I came and said, okay, if you want to consider vehicles, let's have vehicles that have four tires. Okay. Why? This. If you want to do this, let's have planes that do this. Now imagine putting this different knowledge that different people came together to formulate, yeah. packing it all and giving it to one person. Wow. So he understands everything, everything. and you only understand what Holy you want to the table. So that is what we're basically doing with artificial intelligence. And then this will help us in new scientific breakthroughs. Okay. But then how do we use this scientific breakthrough? AI, can it replace some, some jobs of people? You know, you think of editing software. Hostel management yeah, system. Yeah, hostel management system. For me, yeah, mm. this is how I see it. If, if we have AI doing, yes, AI will. To answer your question very directly, yes, AI will replace yes, a lot. The whole lot of, if not all. Wow. This is good and this is bad. This is good in the sense that educational system is built around breeding people to work. Breeding people to work. Breeding people to learn how to collect instead of learning how to give to life. Mm. So you have a person going through five years and then the next thing on his mind is how to get a job, how to go and position himself to collect, collect. from life instead of rather than giving to life. If you look back in the 1800s and the early 1900s when we had this um, great scientist come up with most of this technology that we are building upon today and what we have to do, yeah. we found out that these people had close to nothing. I was going through Tesla's uh, patent papers and then I discovered that most of the laws that Tesla formulated were based on what we are all seeing today and what we feel mm. is useless. Wow. A wheel rolling and then he's formulating theories of momentum from a wheel, a wooden wheel. You get what I mean? Not a wooden wheel. Wow. Now, these are people who saw these things and they wanted to understand why. And just because they wanted to understand the why, they position themselves in place in, 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 in they place themselves in positions where they gave to life. And because they gave to life, we're all benefiting. Yeah. Now the educational system is placed such that we want to collect. collect. We are just collecting. And then for a person who is collecting, you don't expect him to have much. Yes. I mean, even the Bible said, yes. give yes. and you shall be given. Not collect, you shall be given. So We've, 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 we've come to a, a position where we are collecting. Yeah, and then I feel that if we have artificial intelligence filling those positions that, of doing those jobs, yeah. then humanity will reset back to giving. It will not collect Rather than collecting. Wow. So that's why I said it will do us good. Because if you finish school and place no day for you to do work, yeah. you will find out what good you can. Because now there is no place for you to go and work and get 30p, 40p. Yeah. Then you find yourself living in a loop. So that's why I said AI will help us. It will help us if it takes the job to my own. That's, that's what I feel. Okay. Okay. You mentioned about a mentor. Do you have a professor, a particular person you have in mind, like in school, while, while you are studying yeah, electrical electronics? <laughs> in this school? Yes. <laughs> Sadly, no. Wow. I, know, uh, I don't have anybody in this school I look to. up to. Wow. You know, when, when you say you look up to somebody, you want to become like that person. Okay. So, who exactly do I want to become like in this school? I saw that coming. Wow. So, I don't have anybody I look up to in this school. 
Okay, have you involved in any research projects since you started um, electrical electronics or any practical projects? Yes, I have been, I've been involved in quite a few. Okay. I believe it's this involvement that helped me grow more interest. One of which is um, a stethoscope okay. that you can use to read your, you can use to listen to your, detect diseases. The wow. rough places on your, your chest. Body. Yeah, that place on your chest and based on your heart readings. Okay. You can detect diseases and we work with some medical students in school here. And then after that, I have um, also worked on systems like, um, to, to, to summarize it, okay. I've written a system where we can hand over car keys without handing over car keys. 